Hello everybody. Today we are exploring a neighborhood in Brooklyn that is often referred to as Little Odessa. It's a extremely Ukrainian and Russian neighborhood. I'm excited about it. I love, love really ethnic neighborhoods here in New York City and this is a big one. And it's right next to the ocean so we're gonna check out the beach as well. Let's get exploring. place, the National Nightclub, but I was reading about it. And apparently they put on some of the most spectacular shows in that nightclub anywhere in the city. Like just Vegas level extravagance. Which is cool. I might have to come back sometime and uh, check out a show. This, this is the big store here. I'm excited to go in there. These are the wool hats that you're supposed to wear in the Russian sauna of Banya. That's cool. There was so much cool stuff in that store. <laughs> it reminded me of being back in Russia. For those of you that don't know, have been watching for the last two years. Um, going to Moscow was my first time outside of the US. I found cheap flights and I decided to go and I spent four days in Russia, in Moscow. And so, you know, whatever feelings you have about Russia, put aside. It was my first experience outside of the country and so being back here, or being here, makes me feel a little nostalgic. It's cool so far, I really like it, but let's continue exploring. I think. The sun's gonna set in like an hour or so, so I wanna head over to the beach and check that out before the sun sets. Мы сегодня на чистом энтузиазме, так что заказы не принимаем. I've only spent the afternoon out here in Brighton Beach but it feels, it honestly feels like I'm traveling. <laughs> like I'm in some other country, somewhere not in New York City. And that, that is why I love these ethnic neighborhoods in New York City and, and any big city, any city that has them really. Because <laughs> you're surrounded by people that are speaking a different language, by their culture, and it allows you to escape the place that you live and feel like you're traveling at home. I love it. extremely quick tour of Brighton Beach. I only spent the afternoon here. Definitely want to come back, spend more time, get a proper tour, go get some food at a Russian or Ukrainian restaurant. Um, I didn't spend that much time here because I'm saving money for something very exciting coming in the next month. 
and a half. I'll tell you more about that in another video, but if you live in Brighton Beach or you're familiar with Brighton Beach and you have any recommendations for me or anyone else watching this video of places to eat, places to go and see here in Brighton Beach, leave them in the comments. And if you're not subscribed, click or tap in the middle of the screen to do so. If you wanna check out my last vlog, you can click or tap there. And if you wanna see the next one, you can click or tap there. Thank you as always very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.